guys, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here though, welcome. What is up? This is going to be another one of my kind of sped up, get ready with me videos. I'm trying to kind of figure out my groove still with some of my makeup videos. As you guys know, the majority of my videos on this channel do revolve around like thrifting and more of, this is my voice. <clears throat> and like more affordable clothing items and makeup stuff too. I do a lot of makeup hauls as well. My channel, I never really wanted it to be mainly makeup videos, but I know a lot of you guys have been asking me like what I'm wearing makeup wise. So I decided, you know, I'm just gonna start doing this every so often. Tuesdays are primarily going to be my makeup days. That's just a day that I've chosen, I don't know. I just felt like it was best. I basically only buy affordable like drugstore type Makeup. Do you like to get high-end brands though when it's on sale, you know, when it's a better price point? So that's how I got these bad boys. So I did pick up the limited edition Urban Decay John Michelle Basquiat. I know I'm saying that wrong. I'm so sorry. Today I'm going to be using this palette for the first time. This is the more like neutral palette. I decided to do this palette. I feel like these are kind of colors you can find in a lot of different places anyways. But let's just get into this. First, like always, I'm baking under my eye using the Ben Nye Luxury Powder and Banana. And for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Smudge Pot. This is in the color Gotta Glow. I'm just placing that all over my eyelid for a nice base. So now going into the Urban Decay palette, I'm going to start with the color Levitation. It's just a really pale brown color. You can find this in basically like any palette, honestly. Um, but I'm just going to put that all over my lid to go on top of the primer just to kind of set it. And now using a fluffy brush, I'm going in with Not For Sale. It's just kind of like a warm, kind of like orangey brown color. I'm going to start this in my outer corner and just build it up there first and then work it inward toward my nose kind of. And I did pull this pretty far inward towards my nose, but I did focus it first on the outer corner. I'm gonna be using the color Sucker Punch. This is just a brown shadow with like gold glitter in it, but once you apply the shadow, the, glad the gladders, the glitter doesn't show too much. Um, but I'm gonna focus this again on my outer corner, but mainly along the lash line. And then I'm just gonna kind of make this in a nice V shape. I did take some a little down on the bottom lash line as well but I focus it close to the lash line on the outer corner and then just kind of blend it upwards into my crease. You can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better on this eye, um, but also for this, I'm using kind of like a more dense brush. It's not as fluffy as a brush that we use in our crease, if that helps at all. <laughs> And now still using the color Sucker Punch, I just grabbed a like flat but kind of squared brush to mainly focus it more on the bottom lash line. Um, so I took this all on the bottom lash line. I did try to focus it on the outer corner again just because I want to keep everything deeper and darker on the outer corner. And I was singing clearly while I was doing my makeup, so yeah. And just to kind of keep everything really nice and flowing together, um, I did bring it out kind of to make kind of like a wing at the outer corner and then blended it upwards. Again, just to make sure it stays deep and dark in the outer corner. And now I'm going in with the color Pseudonym. It's just a really deep, dark, navy, 
It looks like it would be black when you first look at the palette, but it's definitely like a really deep navy blue. Um, but so again, I'm just gonna go over where we put that darker brown color. I'm just using a little bit fluffier of a brush and I'm just again trying to add like a little bit of a smoky effect where we're gonna add our liquid liner later on. And then I do kind of drag that up into my crease only slightly after creating kind of like that cat eye look on the end. And then again, still using the color pseudonym, that like navy blue color, I just changed my brush so that it's more of like an angled flat brush. And I took that dark navy color all along the bottom lash line. I did bring this in a little bit further um, to the inner corner as well. And again, just kind of built up the color on the outer corner like we've been doing this whole time. <laughs> And bye bye bake, finally, yay. And then I'm using the color crown. It's just a really pretty yellow gold on like a really round brush. And I'm just gonna add that to my inner corner for that inner corner, a little bit of a highlight. It's not like a crazy highlight, but just a little bit of a brightness to the inner corner. I'm dipping into Enigma and Levitation just really lightly just because I wanted to blend out the edges of the colors just a little bit. And then when I did that, I realized I didn't really like that it wasn't very blended. So I reached back into Not For Sale and I'm just going over all the colors in the crease just to make sure it's a little bit blended a little bit better. I'm using the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner in just black as my like winged liner. Um, I'm using this like little tiny brush that used to come with this cream eyeliner. It's not like the best brush ever. Just use like a flat angled brush and it makes it super easy. But yeah, I'm just doing winged liner. <laughs> But to make the wing easier, I usually start with a line from the corner of my eye outwards and then just connect it to the line on my eyelid. And then I just kind of stare at it for an hour to make sure they're even. I'm going back into pseudonym again just to kind of set the cream liner just to make sure that it doesn't like crease or fade or move around at all. This is a pretty good cream liner. It doesn't move around too much, but just to be safe. For lashes, I'm using the Vegas Nay or Eye Lure Luxe Collection. I think this is the Bronze Goddess ones. Lately, I've been curling my lashes before I apply them. I just think they look better. So once they're on, I'm using my Maybelline. It's the Lash, Lash Blast Mascara. This tube of mascara. Um, I just added this to my lower lash line and obviously to my top lashes to blend them with the falsies. Now done with the eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay John Michelle Basquiat blush palette and I'm using the color X-Rated. I started with a little bit on the brush, as you can see it was kind of pretty pigmented. Um, but I tried to start lightly and just kind of build it up. And then I'm gonna use the Now's the Time highlighter from this palette as well. This highlighter is so beautiful. It's made me want literally all of the Urban Decay little like blush and highlighter palettes because I love this highlighter. But so I'm applying this to my usual spots on my cheekbones, down my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, and also a little bit on my chin. For the lips, I'm using the NYX lip liner in the color rose, and I'm just gonna all the way line my lips. I actually add a little bit to the inner part of my lip as well, that's like my little secret, so that you don't have that harsh line between your lip color color ruffle trim really ruffle trim so like I said I'm just going in with the NYX lip lingerie in the color ruffle trim and just fully filling in my lips with that color I definitely could have left it like this but I wanted kind of a pinkier look that's why I started with the lip liner that was pink so after I added this I actually go in on top with a pink gloss it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss in the color 
candy. I think it's called candy. I, yeah, I think that's what I used. That is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said before, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on my makeup videos if you guys want to see more. If I missed anything, I will try, try, try to remember to put in the description box all of the products in case you guys missed it as I was going through the video or in case I accidentally missed it. It will be in the description box below. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you are not already. Make sure you hit the little bell notification button down there so you know when I post new videos because sometimes they're kind of at random times. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More makeup videos to come. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.